Good morning. Today, on Christmas Day, the readings are Luke 2, 1 to 20, and Isaiah 9, 2 to 7. The year 2022 is drawing to a close. It is a time when we may draw up the balance, and if so, we can probably conclude that it has been a year which saw the end of an era. No longer are we living in relative ease. The war in Ukraine has had an effect on all the other nations in terms of rising prices and uncertainty about several aspects of life that we tended to take for granted. We also said our fondest farewell to Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away in September, and we have a new monarch on the British throne. The war and the change of monarch, what do they mean to our life at the present time, and what is the relevance of the celebration of Christ's birth? On Christmas morning, we are thinking of God's own son, who was born a human baby. His mother Mary wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Nobody outside this small family in the obscure setting of a stable would have a clue of the significance of this birth. And although we have all got a fair picture in our minds about the scene, with ox and ass and sheep that came with the shepherds, who had been told by the angels to go and look for the Christ child, we may wonder about the difference this baby was going to make. Certainly, the Roman Emperor Augustus and Quirinius the governor didn't know about this child. Luke chapter 2 begins with, In those days, giving the historical setting for the holy birth, but the authorities of the day were unaware of its meaning. It was a dark time, though, with the people of Israel struggling under the yoke of Rome. A long time before, the prophet Isaiah talks about people walking in darkness, in a land of deep darkness, with the rod of their oppressor bearing them down, until the old prophecy was being fulfilled. Then, says Luke, in that region, the shepherds who were keeping watch over their flocks by night were visited by an angel of the Lord, proclaiming the birth of a Saviour. How startled they must have been! In the brightest of lights, shining in the dark night sky, as it says, the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel begins with reassurance, Do not be afraid, and then tells them the good news of the birth of a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Upon the angel's directions, the shepherds followed the sign and went to Bethlehem to find Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And so, to the shepherds first of all, as representatives of the human race, the Christ child is presented as the one whom the prophet Isaiah calls Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. What is his relevance? Like the emperor in those days, there are military powers at work even now who behave like they are gods. They rule with iron fists and instill fear in people. The one true God, however, has stepped into the life of humans as one of them, yet without sin, to bring true justice and true peace. His kingdom will be good news to the poor, the weak and powerless. In one of her Christmas messages, Queen Elizabeth II said, Finding hope in adversity is one of the themes of Christmas. Jesus was born into a world full of fear. The angels came to frighten shepherds with hope in their voices. Fear not, they urged. We bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. Although we are capable of great acts of kindness, history teaches us that we sometimes need saving from ourselves, from our recklessness or our greed. God sent into the world a unique person, neither a philosopher nor a general, but a saviour with the power to forgive. 
Forgiveness lies at the heart of the Christian faith. It can heal broken families, it can restore friendships, and it can reconcile divided communities. It is in forgiveness that we feel the power of God's love. I could not say it any better than that. Queen Elizabeth had a living faith and lived her life on the basis of her knowledge of a greater sovereign than herself. She pointed to his righteousness and offer of life to the full. His scepter is the shepherd's rod and staff, guiding and protecting with love and mercy. It happened in those days. The shepherds were given a sign. May it also happen in our hearts in our day, so that we may truly see him. The Christmas Candle Prayer for the Advent Wreath God our Father, today the Saviour is born, and those who live in darkness are seeing a great light. Help us who greet the birth of Christ with joy, to live in the light of your Son, and to share the good news of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who has come into the world. Amen. Happy Christmas.